Idiopathic Inflammatory Myopathy, or IIM, is a group of heterogeneous muscle diseases subclassified into polymyositis, dermatomyositis, and other myopathies. IIM is characterized by muscle inflammation, as you can see here in the MRI, and histopathological finding, leading to progressive muscle weakness. Treatment for IIM still largely depends on glucocorticoid and nonspecific immunosuppressants. There are still a lot of unmet needs regarding their efficacy and safety. Patients experience various adverse effects, among which glucocorticoid-induced myopathy is inevitable and deteriorates muscle strength. Moreover, patients suffer from prolonged muscle weakness even after muscle inflammation is under control. Therefore, a new treatment strategy for IIM is awaited, which improves inflammation as well as muscle strength. As a candidate for such treatment, we focused on the effect of glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor, GLP-1 receptor agonists. They have been developed as an anti-diabetic therapy and they also have various effects such as anti-inflammation, suppression of muscle wasting, and inhibition of cell death in many disease models. Therefore, we hypothesized if GLP-1 receptor agonist could be a novel treatment of IIM. First, we examined the expression of GLP-1 receptor on PM patients and CIM, a mice PM model. We found that in both patients and CIM, GLP-1 receptor was expressed on the plasma membrane of muscle fibers and the expression level was higher in the area where inflammatory infiltrates were observed. Then we examined the effect of a GLP-1 receptor agonist on CIM model. Here is the grip strength of the mice and we can see the CIM induced decrease in grip strength. We administered P1501, a GLP-1 receptor agonist, to CIM in monotherapy or in combination with prednisone. P1501 retains the grip strength in monotherapy, as shown in blue, or in combination with prednisone, as shown in purple. Meanwhile, the prednisone monotherapy, as shown in red, did not suppress muscle weakness. Here is a cross-sectional area, CSA, of muscle fibers in CIM mice. CIM resulted in a decrease in CSA in muscle fibers. PF1801 in monotherapy and in combination with prednisone suppressed the decrease in CSA in muscle fibers, while prednisone monotherapy did not. And here is the histological information score. PF1801 suppressed muscle inflammation, and we could see the combined effect of PF1801 and prednisone. In summary, PF1801 ameliorated muscle weakness, atrophy, and inflammation in this model. PF1801, a GLP-1 receptor agonist, is a potential new treatment strategy for IIM that can suppress muscle inflammation and recover muscle strength. Given that GLP-1 receptor agonists have been clinically used as an anti-diabetic therapy and have known safety profiles, P1801 will also be a safe treatment. We hope P1801 is a promising alternative to current immunosuppressive therapies for IIM. Based on the excellent therapeutic effect in our preclinical studies, we need a clinical trial to test the therapeutic effect of P1801 in patients with IIM. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.